Hey guys, it's Max. Today I'm comparing two brand new 2020 laptops. We have the new MacBook Air, which Apple made some great upgrades to, and the new Dell XPS 13 9300, which Dell also made some excellent upgrades to. And we're gonna see which one of these is the better laptop for your money. Now we're not only gonna look at things like CPU and graphics performance, we're gonna talk about the new keyboards. Both of these have been updated, the trackpads, the displays, the microphones, the webcams, and more. Let's go ahead and jump into it with the exteriors. Now you guys might see that the Dell is a little bit shorter. I'm gonna go ahead and close it up here. And Dell has really made this thing as slim as possible. You guys see, if I stack these on top of each other over here, the MacBook Air is both a little bit wider and a little bit taller. Now, as far as the thickness here, they are very similar. They both use this wedge-shaped design. The MacBook Air does get a little bit slimmer at the very end here, and that's because they have more room to play with. And as far as ports, you guys see the Dell does have a USB Type-C Thunderbolt 3 port over here with the headphone jack. And then the other, other side, the MacBook Air has two Thunderbolt three ports and the Dell XPS also has the second one on this side so you have one on each which is convenient and we have a micro SD card slot which I really like as far as build quality both are excellent both are made out of aluminum Dell stepped up their game their hinge now right here is all aluminum and then the whole bottom chassis is milled out of aluminum where the ports are and then if we go ahead and open these up they also improved the hinge as you guys can see I have now have a one-handed open and as you guys just noticed the XPS just recognized my face and logged me in using Windows Hello there's an array of sensors up here at the top next to the webcam just like face ID on your iPhone and I've been asking for Apple to include this in their MacBooks for a while now it is just so convenient of course the MacBook Air does have touch ID built in over here the Dell XPS also offers a scanner built into the power button and on the inside I feel like it makes it seem a little bit more premium with the all aluminum design now the XPS has a soft coating over here it doesn't get as cold it's a little bit more comfortable now another thing that you guys probably noticed right away is the difference in bezels the MacBook Air doesn't look bad but the Dells look excellent it's super thin over here and even at the top it is incredibly thin now let's look lower at the keyboards Apple just updated it to the magic keyboard that's included in the 16 inch MacBook Pro it feels excellent it's a big improvement over the the butterfly keyboard both in reliability and in feel we have more travel nice tactile kind of response Dell also made theirs uh, it has a one millimeter travel distance it's also very responsive and believe it or not I can't really give a winner to either one of these um, the key sizes are nice and large both are excellent I don't think anybody's complaint is going to complain with these keyboards now if we look a little bit lower we have our trackpads this is where Apple absolutely takes the win they have the magnetic force touch trackpad when you click there's an even feel everywhere you can actually adjust in the settings how hard you want that little click that's simulated to be the XPS trackpad it's accurate I don't have that much complaints but you can't compare these two if you want the best trackpad Apple offers those now let's talk about displays the MacBook Air uses Apple's 16 by 10 aspect ratio retina display just over 4 million pixels nice and sharp whereas the XPS also uses 16 by 10 which is great and you have the option of 1080p or 4k and non touchscreen or touchscreen so we have a lot of options now I'm watching back this video right here and the Dell definitely looks better I do have the 4k touchscreen option in front of me now as far as the brightness they might look similar right now maybe the Dell looks slightly brighter uh, but the MacBook Air is actually maxed out 350 nits is what it can offer whereas the XPS actually goes up to 500 nits for this year doesn't matter if it's 1080p or 4k and I actually don't have it maxed out so let me click this up right here and the Dell with that brightness is HDR capable so I'm watching in HDR it looks better <laughs> there is no doubt about it now as far as the color accuracy both can do 100% sRGB so overall if you get the base XPS with the 1080p it's not going to be as sharp uh, but it's still going to be brighter or if you go for the 4k it definitely is going to look nicer now it's time to compare the speakers make sure you guys get your best pair of headphones I have to say that last year's XPS the speakers were not good that was probably my biggest complaint they did upgrade it this year which is great but let's see if it can compete The 
XPS is good enough for most people. You can watch movies, you can listen to music, it's a lot louder than before. But with that said, the MacBook Air still is a little bit louder and the sound quality is better as well. Not as big of a difference, not, it was a huge difference last year, so I'm glad Dell really stepped it up, but it still isn't as good. I wonder if that's because it is down firing. If it was firing up, maybe it would have a little bit of a better time. Both of these laptops feature 720p webcams, but this is the quality that you can get from the MacBook Air, both the video and also the microphone quality. And this is the webcam and microphone quality from the new Dell XPS 13. Go ahead and let me know any differences that you notice down in the comment section below. Now let's compare the SSDs. Both of these models are configured with 512 gigabyte SSDs. Man, okay. <laughs> The MacBook just got smoked. <laughs> we have 2200 write, 2600 read, compared to 1300 and 1300. Let me do that again. Very, very interesting. All the settings here are exactly the same. Uh, we're using AJA just because uh, it works with both. Let me go ahead and pull up here Blackmagic Speed Test. Let's see what we get here. And it looks like even in Blackmagic, the performance is coming out about the same. So the Dell XPS does have the better SSD. And for the base model, it comes with 256, just like the MacBook Air does. But for the MacBook Air, it costs a lot more to go to 512. Here, it was just a $50 upgrade. But not only that, you can actually swap out your SSD yourself. It's very easy and simple to do. You can pop in a one terabyte or a two terabyte if you want to in the future. And that is really nice to have that flexibility. Now it's time to talk about C CPU and graphics performance. I have Geekbench 5 pulled up here. And for the base models, the MacBook Air comes with the Intel 10th Gen i3 processor. It's a dual core, and we get about 1,000 single core and about 2,300 multi. Whereas the XPS, the base model does cost more money. It's about $200 more expensive, but we have a quad core i5, and the single core score is faster by about 200 points. Multi core is significantly faster. We're looking at 4,300. Now, with the MacBook Air, you can step up to either an i5 or an i7 quad core as well. The i5 and the i7, they perform very similarly because of the thermal design, which I'll talk about in just a bit. We do jump up to about 1250, 1300 single core, and the multi-core score will go up to roughly 3,300, maybe 3,500 or so. Uh, whereas here, the i5 is way outperforming it. If we go up to the i7, we go up to 4,700 on the multi-core. That is a really big difference. Now let's touch on graphics. If you're buying the base models, both score roughly about the same. We have 5,600, 5,800 over here. Um, that is similar. Now, if you get the MacBook Air with the i5, you step up right away to the best graphics, and then that brings you to roughly 8,800, about 9,000 or so OpenCL, maybe slightly higher with metal. Whereas with the XPS, if you go step up to the i7, that's when you get the better graphics. And then we're scoring over 10,000, 10,600. Now there is a difference why we're seeing better performance out of i7s or i5s on the XPS. First off, the chips that are in this laptop, they are not Y series, they are U series, they have more wattage. And second, the system has a lot better cooling. We have two fans inside, we have heat pipes, whereas the MacBook Air, it uses a more efficient processor that doesn't use as much watts, and the heatsink is not connected to the fan, and this leads it to not be able to run as fast. If we go ahead and open up Cinebench R20, we can see that the MacBook Air heats up to 100 degrees instantly, and the Dell XPS also goes to 100 degrees really, really fast, but we're running at 34 watts here compared to 15. Now, a very interesting thing about the XPS is Dell tuned the fans a little bit differently than before. It acts more like a MacBook where it allows it to get a little bit hotter and the fans to spin lower to minimize the fans ramping up and down and causing a lot of annoying noise. But if you push it for a little bit, right now we already see it's dropped down to 24, it will allow itself to cool down. We're nearing the end of the test here. The XPS is running at 2.6 gigahertz compared to 1.43. As far as fan noise, the MacBook Air is slightly louder than the XPS, and we just got 1,611 points in Cinebench R20. It's been about two extra minutes, and we just got done. 
890 points. So the XPS is about 85% faster under load because of its cooling and it runs slightly quieter as well. Whereas in the simpler tasks, we had a difference of about 40%. Now this is the i5 model, but in everything that I've seen, the results online, the i7 performs basically the same when you're putting it under these loads because it can't run any faster than the i5 because of the thermals. And of course, prices matter as well. The MacBook Air starts at a thousand bucks, where the XPS starts at 1200. At the base, we have eight gigs of RAM, 256 gig of SSD. But if you wanna upgrade your SSD on the XPS, it's gonna cost you only 50 bucks more to go for 512, that is what I have here. Whereas with the MacBook Air, that upgrade costs you another $200. And then if you wanna upgrade the RAM, that costs you 200 bucks as well. Whereas Dell only charges you $100 to upgrade. I would absolutely do that because it is soldered in. So right out the gate, um, if we're comparing the base, and I'm gonna go up to the i5 here, we're looking at $1,500 versus $1,350. Now, the MacBook Air is gonna have the better display, if you want the 4K display, it also costs you quite a bit more. At the base, if you just want an entry level for basic tasks, the MacBook Air is great. And there's some good deals right now at B&H for hundred bucks off, meaning you get the system for $900. Excellent, if you just want a simple system, I would just buy that base model and use it. Don't go for the i5. But if you want a great laptop that has really good performance out of the box, with a good SSD that you can upgrade, 16 gigs of RAM for $1,350. Um, you're not gonna get that resolution, but you'll get great battery life, and overall, Dell has done an excellent job with the XPS. So if you're somebody that wants to do things like photo editing, some video editing, you wanna do some light gaming, you want it to handle uh, you know, whatever you wanna throw at it much better, you don't have to worry about that, I think the XPS is a better system. The MacBook Air, at the base level, it is an incredible value for a brand new 2020 Apple computer with that great keyboard and trackpad, good speakers. If you wanna have more capabilities, you don't mind Windows, I think the XPS is a really, really good option with all of the upgrades that they made. You guys let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. I'll have links to both of these down in the video description. There's some good sales. And if you guys wanna see more videos, click that little circle above if you wanna see our full review of this XPS. And we have some other videos right over there. This has been Max with Max Tech, and I will see you in the next video.